We sold this for $260. Ooh. Y'all, this next item. People are funny, y'all. I was literally looking through these hats and I saw somebody stash. This is crazy, babe. Let me just see. Happy, Happy anniversary. anniversary to us. Yes, to, to us. us. Seven years, baby. Oh, yeah, it's going oh, down. Yeah. Seven years of marriage. We're excited because, you know, as much as we love one another, there's another thing that we love. Not just as much, but we do love it a lot, babe. Yeah. What is it? You already know. It's thrifted, baby. Oh, yeah, y'all. So we're going to take y'all with us. We are actually celebrating our anniversary. The kids are dropped off. We're actually in line right now at Chick-fil-A, uh, my favorite place to be. Yep. Shout out to all the Chick-fil-A lovers as well. So we're going to yep. grab some breakfast. We're going to head to this thrift spot. I think we got a massage later, babe, right? Yep, yep. We're going to definitely grab something Two to eat. Two-hour massage. Yes, and make sure y'all watch to the end of this video because we're going to show you guys what sold over the weekend. So we had crazy sales, y'all, on Poshmark, on Macari, and eBay. So make sure y'all watch to the end so y'all can see all of the stuff that we flipped for a profit. What we got, babe? Checking it out. Got a, a ton of running shoes. Yeah. Y'all, look what I just found. I was going to get a buggy and I found these. Oh man, smile. I thought it was Toy Birch. They got me. <sighs> People are funny, y'all. I was literally looking through these hats and I saw somebody stash these pair of Tom's women's heels. Not bad. These little wedges. And it looks like they were only asking. I don't even know. They ripped the price off. That's interesting. So we'll see. And then I also saw, look. Dun, da, da, da. Pair of Converse's for it looks like $8.99 that they also stashed as well. So, <sighs> you know, you're gonna have a secret stash, y'all. You gotta make sure you come back and get your stash. Otherwise, somebody else will get it. <laughs> as I did find this really nice Athleta hoodie. You can kind of see the brand, size large. It's actually really nice, but I just looked at the price of it and it's $7.24. So, I think I'm gonna leave it because the comps are just not there to justify that. Look at this, y'all. Masters Collection polo shirt. They're asking 624 for it, but I don't know. It looks a little worn. Yeah, it looks kind of super faded, y'all. I was telling them somebody had like stashed these shoes, babe, because it's like really dry in here. But anyway, it's very dry. It's very dry. I found like these Converse for like $8.99. Um, you can kind of see it in there, but look at the condition. I mean, I don't know if it's worth no eight ninety nine. Yeah, but nah. what we gotta flip it for. And then it was also a pair of these women's tongs. I actually <laughs> do like these. These little heels. Little wedges. But <laughs> they like ripped off the price. You don't even know how much it was for. But Tell it you. is the Tom's brand. We sold a few of these before, but honestly, babe, I think we should just roll. Yeah. Did you find anything? Uh not well I found these all birds. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just birds. I just put in here, but yeah, that was really it. Yeah. And then that little purse, but I'm not gonna get it. Yeah. Yep, so we gonna roll out we're gonna head to our massage how about that let's go all right guys that was a bust Ooh. like we only picked up these look all bird shoes right here yeah but that's the only thing we grabbed so we're probably just gonna head and get our massage now yeah just so we can relax what's going on guys so that was horrible. That was a little disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> Not our anniversary. Our yeah. anniversary was amazing. The thrift store was, yeah, uh, was, was Google. It just wasn't our day. I think yesterday was really about us just hanging, yeah, yeah. doing our massage. We got to eat, you guys. But the good thing is we had crazy sales over the weekend. So we yep. want to show you guys about what sold. So we saw it on Macari, Poshmark, and eBay. So let's get into it. All right, you guys. So the first item that we ended up selling were these really clean guys foot joy golf shoes y'all can tell on the bottom they got these spikes in it so we actually had to be really really careful how we uh put these up but we actually grabbed these at an estate sale bay what like a week or so ago yep but we got these for dirt cheap you guys and we ended up selling it for fifty dollars and the buyer also paid about eleven dollars in shipping so we actually got a set of these we probably got about three or four more pairs of these but yep. literally you guys these sold in like one week all right, and then the next item up, you guys, I went ahead and grabbed this tracksuit. So it was this full Adidas tracksuit, you guys. Straight vintage. Yeah, like straight vintage. Let me just show y'all so y'all can see the full set. 
really really cool man so i don't know what size this is but look at the tag you can tell it's a big size i think it's a size let me see hold up Wait, focus right quick yeah yep size right extra there. large yep extra large and look they also paid 50 dollars for this trash suit and they also paid nine dollars in shipment so i don't remember where we got this from babe but this was a great pickup yeah i got it from value village i think for like ten dollars or something like that. oh yeah you can't beat that so we actually have been selling a lot of our sportswear so i'm gonna grab this from our women's uh looks like we sold this adidas running workout jacket nice and it should be in here you guys it should be in here, here it is yeah and actually i remember this one listing it because i love this color it's kind of like a blue lavender but really simple sale another adidas outfit and this i believe was a size small or extra small yep size small and you guys we ended up selling this for 14 bucks and the buyer paid free shipping so some of our clothes that we've been getting we've actually just been lowering the listing price just so we could sell it a lot quicker so because we have so much we clothing, have so like. many clothes y'all so i forgot babe but i think this was a few days too listed yeah yeah probably one or two days so that was a quick flip and the next item up were these justin men's boots so you guys you'll notice on a lot of our sales like a lot of these you guys these sold really, really quickly, but I think one of the things that we've been working on, if I can get this boot out, <laughs> is just adjusting our listing prices uh, based off of the demand. So I want to say these are the Justin, babe. Hold on, let me just double check. Yeah, I see Justin on the side. You do? Okay, okay, yep. I see it. All right, cool. So it was these Justin's Men Western boots. Really great condition on the bottom. So these sold for 35 bucks, y'all. Really 36 yep so really great flip and the buyer paid ten dollars in shipping so we're going to make sure that we get these out to the buyer cha-ching justin Cha -ching. is a really good brand to look out for so if you see justin boots you might want to look up the cups of you course you might want to grab you it. might want to grab it. all right these next items you guys are actually in the closet but i'm so excited because if y'all saw the video why reseller moms rock that whole closet right there y'all is fully organized so i just went to the closet and pulled all of these items so i'm going to get my handy dandy step ladder Cause I actually need something to help kind of prop all this stuff up. So. Cause you're short. No, I'm not short. I am. I'm five three. All right. So. No, nah, you're not short. <laughs> Average. For all of our football fans out here, y'all already gonna love this next section because we've been selling crazy jerseys. This next one that we ended up selling was this Carolina Panthers Cam Newton jersey. Yep. This is a youth medium. Fun fact, Cam Newton uh, actually stays, what, babe, like 10, 15 minutes away from us, like his hometown? Oh, uh, yeah. Like where yep. we're at, so where he went to high school at, you guys, is like literally not that far from where we are. So it's pretty cool because he actually kind of goes to the gym that we go to sometimes. So, yep. anyways, shout out to Cam Newton. But we sold this jersey, you guys, for $28, as you can see, and the buyer ended up paying $7 in shipping. So, really great quality. I really love that on the neckline as well. So, got that sold. And then the next jersey we ended up selling, y'all already mm. know. So don't glad do that. he's going. <laughs> so glad he's struggling going. struggling a little bit, but it's still the Atlanta Falcons jersey. So this was the number two, Matt Ryan, even though he's not with the Falcons anymore. And um, our hardest. Got to rebuild. Got to rebuild. Anyways, hold on. Let me find out how much we sold this for, because I know that we sold this. Hold on. One five dollars. It wasn't five dollars. Because he ain't worth nothing. Stop it. Okay, it was nineteen ninety five, you guys. So <laughs> we sold it for nineteen ninety five, and the buyer paid six dollars in shipping. So, anyways, this is another youth jersey. So when you guys see youth jerseys, um, make sure you grab them because you can still get a good profit for it. Even though, of course, the adult jerseys go for a lot more. But those were two jerseys down, y'all. Yeah, because some people will buy youth jerseys because an extra large in youth is actually, I think, a woman's small or something like that. Yes. We also ended up selling another uh, vintage Falcons top. So this just says NFL Falcons, Atlanta. It ain't got no name on it. This is a Lee Sport brand. And we sold this for $18. So not bad. $18 and the buyer paid $5 in shipping. And so, it's embroidered. Yes. I'm sorry. I should have yeah, showed y'all that. It's really nice. Great detail on Embroidered that. in it. Yep. Yep. And then segue it because I remember that this one is literally right here in the closet. We ended up selling. I've been waiting on us selling this, y'all, because this thing is so cute. <laughs> yes, those Bulldogs, they're like number two right now. They are unstoppable. But we ended up selling this UGA um, Bulldogs, kind of like a women's nightgown. So it's that satin thing, but it's really, really cool. So this is a size medium, but we ended up grabbing this. We were going to give it to my baby sister, and we decided, you know, we were just going to go ahead and sell it. If you guys are Alabama, was it Crimson Tide? No, don't start. Horrible. Don't start. Like, <laughs> we ended up selling this, you guys, for $15. And the buyer paid $7 in shipping for this item. So, yep. really, really cool. You see, it's lightweight. You know it's going to go first class. So, 
Hey, shout out to the Bulldogs. Yeah. Roo, 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 roo. <laughs> Alabama fans, you guys, I I'm sorry. Just like. He's just trying <laughs> to start mess today, y'all. Don't I'm let sorry, him pull you into it. Don't let him do it. UGA is way better. Don't let him but, do you know. it. <laughs> All right, y'all. And so I'm going to hold off on this because we actually sold this on another platform, but I'll pull it back in a second. Um, the next item we ended up selling were these men's vans. And let me just see. Yeah, size nine. I actually don't need my step lighter for this, but I'm going to use it because I can. <sighs> <laughs> All right, they should be in here, you guys. But we ended up selling, yep, here we go. These men, see how easy it is to do it when I have my step lighter? I ain't got to mm -hmm. be struggling and pulling stuff down. But yep. here we go. So we ended up selling these men's sky high vans. You guys, these are really good condition. It's like a really pretty, I don't know, burgundy or whatnot, but you guys, we sold these for $55, and the buyer paid $10 in shipping, so that's 65 bucks for this item, and it's really great condition, as you can see, the bottoms, they almost look brand new, y'all, yeah, they might be brand new, yeah, like, no wear on it, or anything I think we like put that. in there brand new, because it had literally no flaws, <laughs> we did put new, yep, <laughs> look at that, <laughs> we did put new, so these are brand new vans, you guys, that we sold for 55 bucks, we sell so many shoes, y'all, sometimes yeah, we forget we if they're we sell so used, many. or new this item you guys i just grabbed it from here we literally just listed this item these were these north face men's fleece gloves you see we sold them for 10 bucks the buyer paid five dollars in shipping so honestly i think we listed this like last week and they sold within a matter of days so it's pretty cool it also has the little buckle thing to connect them so you don't lose your pair of gloves so that was a great flip babe oh y'all this next item this is crazy babe let me just see because how much we sold it for let me just see so these are all of our women y'all remember we kind of reorganized this but this next item probably takes the cream of the crop of our sales babe what you think oh yeah all right so this is crazy anytime you see us pull out like the stuff with like the wrapper and stuff you know these are really nice shoes like we don't want it to get scratched up or anything but we sold these authentic new burberry women's uh leather shoes so can i take it out oh yeah babe? yeah definitely you sure all right but let me tell y'all how much we sold it for real quick you guys we sold this for $260. Come on. Oh, yeah. Be more excited. I'm excited. Yeah, and we only paid $6 for them. That I remember when I was at Goodwill stuff. and I was actually about to check out. And I said, let me look at the women's I'm so glad you know, you shoes one more time. I'm so and I glad saw the Burberry flats and I was like, hold on, is that Burberry? So I thought they were used. I looked at, at the bottom and look, look guys, it. have not been worn at all. At all. I mean, you see that Burberry on the inside? Super nice. The condition is amazing. Got the gold belt buckle yep. on it. So Puts it flat. Yeah, I'm just really excited about this sale, man. And it's crazy that you found these for only $6, babe. Yeah. Like, you'll be, they must have just brought it out. They did. Yeah, it was sitting there. Yeah, I'm like, I can't believe anybody just passed this up. But yes, you guys, this right here is like top sale of the week. 260 bucks, and the buyer got free shipping so we wanted to be nice because they already paying 260 dollars yeah. <laughs> so anyways really great find on this and amazing flip you guys all right and then moving on i know i'm kind of skipping around but we had a few sales so we ended up selling some timberland boots you guys and as you notice we have like a lot of our boots down here so these are kind of like our men's boots um like the tan boots we got the black boots we got the women's black boots we got the women's tan boots so we got a lot going on in the boots and I'm excited that it's fall because we are about to start selling a lot of these. It's always good when you have multiple of the same item to double check and make sure it's the right item because sometimes we do have a lot of the same size and we have yep. to go back to our original pictures and just make sure that we're giving the buyer exactly what they bought. So we ended up selling these boots, you guys, the size, uh, uh, size ones, I was about to say size 11. <laughs> does have a little scruff kind of on the front of it, but it's all good because the buyer still paid. It looks like... Yeah, 30 bucks for these. Nice. So we sold these for 30 bucks. Buyer paid nine dollars in shipping. So other than that front part, they're still in really good condition. And Timberlands always do really well for us. So. And you always want to make sure you put in the description. Be very yep. descriptive of any of the flaws and stuff like that. Because we learned the hard way sometimes when we get returns and it's just like doesn't match the photos. That was a lot earlier in the day, like when we started the business. But now we list every flaw. So yep. even for resellers out there, whatever it is. Just put it in there. Just put yep. it in there so buyers know what they're getting. And sometimes the buyers don't even read the description. This is you true. You know, so it happens, you know, this even if you put it in the description, but, you know. Yeah. Awesome. And I think, babe, you pulled this for us earlier. Yep. I see it right here. Oh, yeah, babe. Yeah, some of these North Face, because we have so many North Face, you guys. But yeah, tons this of This was really, really cool, man. This is a men's uh, North Face puffer. I really like this detail of kind of like the lining all across it. 
but this is a men's size small great condition so you guys the buyer paid hundred and fifty dollars for this jacket so another crazy flip and they also paid eleven dollars in shipping so you guys can see that right there we did do a promoted listing on this one just because there's so much north face out there online so we wanted to make sure that buyers got to see the beauty of this product and we sold it babe. smile for the thumbnail <laughs> please <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I think, babe, we probably had that listed a few days, right? Yeah, yeah not that, that long. Listed at, yeah, that long at all. And I'm trying to see, babe. I think that kind of wraps up our eBay sales. I'm just scrolling through, making sure we got everything. We got that. We got that. Oh, and the last thing. Cool. We already got this pulled. So we've actually been packaging a lot of lots together. And so we went ahead and grabbed these, but these were some shirts that Derek had got. And so this was really an assortment of 11 shirts that we ended up selling on eBay. So I will lay it out for you, but you guys can kind of see like all different sizes from 2XL. And honestly, individually, they wouldn't go for that much. But when you lot it up together with the sizes, you can get a little bit more. So we ended up selling this, you guys, for $33 and the buyer paid $11 in shipping. So really cool you know we're starting to do lots sometimes just to save time and save space because honestly this is a lot of space and i'm yep. glad we're about to get it shipped so that was all of our sales for ebay so now we're going to switch over to poshmark so for those that have been following us y'all know that we use list perfectly now and list perfectly honestly has been working really really well for us on selling on other platforms so i'm gonna show you guys this was the item i had pulled earlier i was like you guys hang tight but we ended up selling this rock revival t-shirt so I don't remember where we picked this up at, babe, or how much we got it for. But yep, we anyway. got it from uh, Goodwill at, for three dollars. Yeah, for three dollars. But we had a lot of interest on Poshmark as well as on eBay and Macari. But finally, somebody ended up offering, and we sold this for thirteen dollars on Poshmark. So still a really good sale for only paying three dollars for it. And honestly, you know, it was just a pretty cool shirt. So oh, we yeah. went ahead and grabbed it. The other item we ended up grabbing um, or selling on Poshmark, you guys, were these. Have a Nike Day shoes. Don't you mm -hmm. like that? Oh, yeah. That's super funny to me. Have so, a Nike Day. These were size 9. So let me just see where these are. It should be in the thing. Oh, I was just kidding. Size 8. They were size 9 in women. And they're actually like right here at the top. So these. And I really love the colorway on these. Yeah, those are super nice. Yeah. Let me just step down so y'all can see it in the light. But look at that. It's got that lavender, kind of like that pinkish and the teal color on it. So, I mean, these shoes are super clean, but you can kind of see it. They have a Nike day. So, we ended up selling these Air Max 95s for 44 bucks on Poshmark. And you guys can see that. One thing I do like about Poshmark is they literally tell you exactly how much you're going to make. So, minus your fees and everything like that, you can automatically know how much you're benefiting from this uh, sale. So, yeah, these are super, super clean. Check the bottoms. And so those were our sales on Poshmark. We actually, you guys, sold a lot more on Poshmark. But um, honestly, we kind of were shipping over the weekend. So usually we try to take the weekend break. But because our anniversary was coming up, we said, let's go ahead and ship over the weekend. Because we kind of took the day off, as y'all saw. Yep. Um, and so we did sell a lot. But this was like overflow um, that I think we ended up selling yesterday. Yeah, a lot of stuff. So like I said, we actually had already sold and shipped a lot of our orders over the weekend. Because we kind of took off yesterday. But I have it put up on my phone. So I'm going to show you guys our Mercari orders. And look, guys. Look, we actually just got an offer in for $160 for this golf case this what? yeah hard shell golf case oh snap. we had it listed for 189 but we just received the offer for 160 so we definitely going to accept that right there you know we did already and the buyer has like a th over a thousand feedback so more than likely they're going to pay but if not then we'll just relist it of course yeah i'm so yeah. excited for that because i remember i think i was the one that listed that and i was having to heave all that heavy stuff remember baby uh -huh. i left to go thrifting that day uh, not over I that. remember that. But I remember going thrifting. No, I'm super glad that sold actually. So you said 160? Yep, 160. Bet you boxing that up. And look, they paid $66 That's crazy. in shipping. That's crazy. So, yep. I don't even know that. This shouldn't cost no $66 to ship though. I well, know. I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty but that's heavy. That's a good yeah. sale though. That's a good sale. Yep. You heard me though, right? What? You boxing it up.
That's a really good sale. So that was on eBay? Yep, on eBay. All right, so just add that to the eBay section. And yep. then we're going to close <laughs> this thing out with Makari. So like I said, you guys, we ended up selling a few items that we're just waiting on the buyer to give us some feedback. We ended up selling this men's Eton dress shirt. Um, we ended up selling it for $25, you guys. And it's really good because we had just listed it last week, you guys. So again, quick, quick, quick flips. And then we also ended up selling this Lululemon pair of women's workout pants. So it was really cool. It had kind of like this black and gray design on it we sold that you guys for 28 bucks and then the last item we sold on my car were these women's wedge coach heels we sold those you guys for 33 dollars. so as you can see they all sold within a matter of one or two days and we got it all shipped out and now we're just waiting on the buyer to rate us so we can get paid oh yeah cut chain cha -ching. Cha -ching. thank you guys so much for watching today's video and our anniversary was like really really good and we appreciate all of you guys for reaching out to us on instagram and on facebook and text yep. messages so we celebrated seven years but i'm excited man i love being married to this guy y'all so if you guys enjoyed today's video go ahead and press that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and we're going to catch you guys in the next one peace, peace.